My name is Joseph Sabini, a student from Aga Khan University, pursuing Master of Education Science. Today we are going to look at sensitive issue, and the first issue will be surrogates. But in another session, we will look at the other sensitive issue. Let us see the objective of the session. By the end of this session, each student teacher will be able to define what is surrogates, understand the beneficiary of surrogates, and then be able to know the types of surrogates and their effects, also to see the dilemma of surrogates in the society. First of all, let us see what is surrogates. To a layman person, surrogates is the state of being a surrogate. But in professional way, surrogate is a, an agreement between a couple and a person who is going to be a surrogate to be a child who will have some trait of the intended parent. And this I get it from Wikipedia. Let's see the beneficiary of surrogates. Surrogates benefits most of the people of the same sex because you know in the world now people are engaging in single sex marriage. Also heterosexual couples who don't have the ability to produce a child. There is a family that's of single mother and a family of single father. Those are beneficiary of the surrogates. Then the person who will, will uh, get pregnant for these groups of people will be called gestational career or a surrogate. Then let's look about the type of surrogates. There is two types of surrogates. That is traditional surrogates and gestational surrogates. In traditional sur surrogates, always it is practiced in society. There is a type of semen collection where the semen will be inseminated in the surrogate mother by what is called IUE or intrauterine, intrauterine uterine insemination. And then gestational surrogates, which is called or is typical technological surrogates can occur in three types. First of all, can be in option one, where the intended parent egg will be used together with intended parent sperm. And then the, uh, the embryo will be transferred to gestation career or to a surrogate and that will be at the pregnant. And then after all, it will be a child that will be of the intended parent. Also, option two can be what? Here, one of the parents or intended parent cannot have ability to produce an egg. So, the egg will be bought or will be taken from somebody and then the fertilization will be made uh, from outside of the body and then the embryo will be transferred to that uh, gestational career by using in vitro fertilization. And then the second option is that all of the parents not have ability to produce a sperm or an egg where they will get sperm and egg outside of their body or they will get it from somebody else and then fertilization will be by using in vitro fertilization and the embryo will be transferred to the gestational area to be at the pregnant of the two. Let's look about the effect of surrogates. When we look about the effect, we look about the merits and demerits. First, in merits, surrogates give hopes of the family that we are not having the ability to have a child that they can achieve if they can achieve the desire of having their own child. And then it reduces stress and maintain family cohesion. Now let's look about the demerits. Um, traditional surrogates in, uh, in the society is controversial. For example, if you have a wife and, then, and the, that you don't have ability to pregnant that wife and then somebody else come and you pregnant your wife and then you take that child to be yours, what is it? Will you be comfortable? That is the question. And then who has the right to be called? Who has the right of the child? Is it the career or the genetic mass? That is another limit of that uh, surrogate. And then who's supposed to feed the child? Is it the career or the surrogate or the genetic mother? And then, when a child grow up, what the feeling that 
uh, he or she will have when she heard that she was from the surrogate key process. Then, uh, something to think about, the dilemma of surrogates. Do you accept it or not? Uh -huh. Who has the right to be called a parent? Is being a parent only need someone to produce an egg or to produce a sperm? I think that is a dilemma in the society. What if you are the surrogate? How will you feel? And then, should we accept and enact law to support or to protect the surrogate? And then, if that's the case, what will be the role of marriage in the society? Otherwise, thank you, and then next time we'll look at another type of sensitive issue. Thank you.